All right, so this is just a replay, hands on the keyboard. I didn't record this game, but I kind of wanted to comment on it. So I'm trying out new runes that I'm not used to playing on Vi. It's Executioner. No, what is it? Hell of Blades. Yeah, Hell of Blades and uh, like Precision. All right, so I'm not getting a leash, which is fine. Um, it's not the end of the world when you don't get a leash, it's fine. You just want to make sure that you try and kite him a little bit so, you know, you don't. And you can smite if you need to, which I typically do when I'm in a hurry. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go do like a, I think I'm going to go do a cheese here. And yep, I think I'm cheesing. Am I cheesing? No. Oh, I'm not. Okay. So, sometimes I'll go <laughs> I'll go from red to their red. And that's like a mega cheese. And it works a lot. Um, I've caught a couple players who come off of Krugs with quite a lot of um, damage. And uh, they're quick pickings. Like, quick pickings. But if you go that route, you want to... You really want to make sure you have your Q up. Because you're going to need to get that to get out you know when they collapse on you or to secure the kill all right so this guy is starting the game late but that's fine go and get my wolves i'm already level three so i could gank right now but as you can see all the lanes are pushed up there's nothing i can really do All right, now at this point, I'm still trying to look to see, okay, what do we want to do? We want to go up and clear our red um, camps, or do we want to secure Scuttle? With Vi's early game one-on-one uh, -on -one potential, you really ought to be taking the Scuttle. Um, there's no reason that you shouldn't feel comfortable taking it, unless you know, you're playing against somebody who has a stronger early game. Um, that just kind of scares you. Like, I'm thinking... I think a Nocturne. Um, it's pretty scary early game. That's, oh, Olaf. He's really scary early game. That's pretty much it for me anyway. So there, I tried to take the Raptor. She came in. I almost got collapsed on by mid. So I just backed off. I really want to catch Evelyn out. I can hear her and see she's taking that right now. Steal her uh, Krug. Q out. Okay, now I need to get some experience. I've been kind of out of lane. So I'm going to stay in this lane here and just get some experience. Do a little poke with my E. Now I'm just looking for an opportunity here. They most likely think that I've backed. She flashed, so she saved her butt on that, but that would have been a kill. At this point, I've spent a lot of time up here. So I'm probably going to just push this out and head back. That was a bad CS. All right, so she obviously really wants me to get this dragon, and that's fine. It's up. I don't have any vision on the other side. I don't think even at this point I have... Can I show? How do I do that? Yeah, can I make that stick? How do I make that stick? I don't know, I'm bad at this replay stuff. All right, well anyway, slaying the dragon. I'm going back now. 
these are the items we'll be picking up so i start with the machete i'm going to pick up my blue blue always like always blue because it's helped so many times to slow somebody down not only so you can catch up with them but also so you can keep them from catching up to you uh, anytime i go red yeah you get a little bit of extra damage and one-on-one -on -one potential is there but with this build i don't need it i've got so much hit coming in i don't think i really need warrior i'd rather take the slow All right, so we'll go get our um, ground. Shut down. I think we get a good kill here. Just because she got pinched, she got real aggressive right there. And coming behind like that, she didn't have time to get out. And I could have just came back around the other side to catch her if she went north. And we're going to go back to farming. They're going to be pushing the bot lane. What made this an S game was my CS. Like, did a lot of farming. I got over 200 in that game, which is pretty good for me on average. Look at this damage. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to do that much damage to her. I was kind of surprised when she didn't really fight back. She kind of just got out of lane. I mean, that's half your life for free right there. Not really scared of Evelyn at this point. She hasn't really shown up a lot. I want to do a check the Krug, see if I can at least pick off the large ancient one. I want to leave the other one. Because I don't want to kill it. That way it doesn't respawn. Next time she comes to the camp, it'll still be there. But I take it anyway, just because I want the gold. Alright, again, they're getting caught. Get a good kill here. I should have art her. But I didn't art her. So she took me out. And that was smart of him to take their support out. Because the fact of the positioning, he was able to take her out and get back. If he would have gone for Evelyn, then he probably would have only got one kill. <laughs> and in this game, he gets fed really hard. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just having biscuits and gravy, I guess. Raptors are really hard for Vi early game. Like, you just want to skip that camp. She just takes a ton of damage. She can't kill it very fast. It's like the exact opposite of Nunu. I know. Don't have to get every objective. All right, so drag should be coming up here pretty soon. Here's the CS count. I'm ahead. By, by a lot now, but it'll be more later because I keep stealing her camps. And that was a horrible view. Should 
should have smited as soon as I got in. And I didn't. But with her help, I wouldn't have been able to have the second one on cooldown anyway, so saving it secures the kill. But if you're ever going to solo dragon, always smite. If you have two smites, always smite right when you go in. Because by the time the damage, you know, you're going to have that, have that second smite come up on cooldown. Otherwise, if you play it too late, you're only going to get stuck with one smite and you're not going to be able to uh, get the last hit as easily. Get some plates. She should have thrown her Q there, but she didn't. With Morgana, you throw your Q, then you drop your W. Or your E, whatever the... There's an opportunity here. And there we go. Now, this is where I die. Because of that. So, that is one thing that you have to watch out for with Vi, is your R will take you wherever they go. It's kind of like Yi's Q. So if you tether to somebody, you're going where they're going, and they can go right under the tower. Alright, I decided to... Okay, <laughs> I must have... Okay, sometimes I look... I look like I'm watching somebody, and then my clicker just stops, like... I just stand there, and then I realize I stop moving, and then I have to click again. I don't know why it does that, but I catch myself doing that all the time. Okay, I want to push tower here. Not only do I need the experience right here, I need some gold. Journey Force is expensive. And she takes towers down quick. Because you can auto E auto really fast. Takes a lot of damage off the tower. And I want to make sure that he got the uh, first, I think it was first tower. Yeah. One thing I think I did well in this game is taking her camps. I mean, I have camps in my own area, but by taking hers, she just falls behind on CS. If you look right now, it's <laughs> 82 to 55. Yeah, here we go. Even with her flash. That's what I love about Vi. Even with her flash. She's got to wait until she uses that dash or whatever. And hook on, baby. Weird that that looked like slow motion. I noticed that in game and I was like, dude, I don't know what the heck's going on right now, but it feels like slow motion. I don't know what my gold is right now, but it's gotta be up there. Like Lucian's eleven two right now. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So he wards me off, and that's fine. But it's two v one right here, and I don't like that. So I kind of stick around. And thanks for him, I did. Yeah, they're playing really aggressive with like two. Hey, Gabriel. Bye, Gabriel. <laughs> it's late, bud. Go to sleep. <laughs> Why is your dad letting you watch YouTube this time of night? 
So I went every game I got Dragon Soul. Usually uncontested. Not uncontested, but like, you know, like straight four. A couple games they did get one or two. You always need to be on that dragon right when it spawns. And if you have time, and this is good right here, I think. Yeah, this is good. Oh, I missed my Q. All right, no opportunities presenting itself. But there is tower damage. I could take this down. Now go steal their Krug again. Just because I'm nearby and I've got two allies with me. It's still there from when I left it earlier. <laughs> and we have this long discourse about that Krug being, uh, <laughs> being taken and how it resets. I like to leave it there. That way it never resets unless she kills it. Now it's going to actually go into uh, a higher level Krug. All right, so just went back. got my Trinity Force. I think I picked up my uh, cloth for my Sterics. <coughs> <coughs> me, the let me. Side complete sentence, Gabriel. You mean he let you? Alright, now we can come back and flank these guys. Why didn't I flank them? I don't know why I didn't flank them. Maybe because I'm looking on the screen and I'm seeing that's probably not a good idea. I always grab the ADC. As Vi Jungler, your job is to always, always, always grab the ADC. And you can do that with your R. It's also a good way to get away from other people. Yeah, I'm a little tired too, bud. I'm just going to finish commenting this video and then I'm going to sleep. I gotta get some rest. But I'll be live streaming again tomorrow if you want to check it out then. Probably around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock rock. This was a really bad one. I don't know why I did it. You gotta have a lane with you. But we did get a pretty good easy kill. Alright, here we go. Do I get caught here? I don't think I get caught here now. What are you watching on? Are you watching on your computer or your, your iPad or what? Somebody got some gold for my shutdown. 650 to be exact. Be able to get this tower. Maybe she's dead. All right, Jack's coming up. Clear some camps on the way, but we do have vision on it, so I don't have to rush. So 
So what I'm doing here is I've got priority, meaning like I'm bad at the bone right now. So I'm taking advantage of that by checking the other side and making sure I know what's around me before dragons take it. Now it can be a little risky because if you get caught out, then you're dead when dragon needs to come. Like this is a little risky right here. I think I die. Yes, I do die. But I do get somebody, I think. Can I go back 30 seconds? No, I, I didn't get a kill here. That sucks. But I didn't know she was up there. I did get an assist though. Two assists, I believe. Yeah. This is not a good fight for us. Because I got caught like that, our entire team gets wiped. Ace. No, not ace. All right. So I still got to get that dragon. I think we lose this one. Almost. <laughs> but I know I kill her because I R and I just smoke her. That was a solo kill. And I think I was getting like Yeah. They're like, where where I'm not gonna go in there and die. Let him have a dragon. Again, take camps whenever you can get to. Like, you're waiting anyway. Don't be just waiting back and forth to engage. Take something while you're waiting. Help him push lane here. Get a couple good hits off. There you go. All right, now they're collapsing down on us, so we got we got to get moving here. And she goes right into him. I thought that was hilarious when it happened. Because she's like, I'm going to alt right out of here. And she ulted right into my ADC. <laughs> or into my mid. Now, I could be pushing lane here. But I'm taking CS. Because if we don't get a good push, at least I got some CS. <laughs> and I got a lot of gold right now, so I'm going to go back. All right, items I'm getting. I got my uh, my little guardian uh, vest, which it'll be used here shortly, if I remember right. <coughs> we need to have some vision on Baron. I didn't do a very good job on that in this game. I still die. 
Like, as soon as I, <laughs> I res, I get killed. I was kind of sad about that. It was a good overall team fight. Caitlyn CS in with their ult. Morgana is doing a great job with their spell shields. I still got 20 seconds. So that Lucian delay right there is a huge delay for them. I don't know what I did there. So, teammates are nearby, no fighting's going on. Let's go for farm. Try not to be too far away from your teammates. I'm a little far. But my objective here is I'm gonna go get um, Scuttle and get start getting ready for that dragon. My job is not to babysit them, it's to make sure the objectives are taken. Now, every time I show myself in lane like that, their jungle knows where I'm at. So you have to be mindful of that. It's nice to get the CS, but you also have to know that you're risking your position. I feel like I have priority here just because of where they're at. I can take this dragon so fast. Say it, Caitlyn, CS him, man. <laughs> KS him. All right, we need to get this tower. I'll let them do the dirty work. I'm gonna go push to the next wave, create more pressure on the other side. That way they have to split their forces. Get pressure on two sides. That's a really awkward spot to be stuck at though. I get hit with two tower shots here. Sixteen to twelve. Who do you think's gonna win? I took so much experience from her by taking her camps. All right, it's time to go. He's gonna get caught because he gets charm. In this scenario, you probably want to use Smite if you have it up. Just quicker. And maybe not take the entire camp. But while they were distracted with me, mid was getting pushed in, so they had to move back to mid. Now they're trying to take Baron right now. I've got two on me, just keeping pressure, so... Should be able to take it on their own. I think they get it right here. Yeah. yeah, just taking her camps. Trying to starve her out. It's working too. Working really well.
Use my R to hop over. She gets through the fence. I don't kill her, but still good flash. <coughs> now we go for the tower. Should be game. I think I delete her right now. Hold on. Do I delete her? Oh, I delete her. Okay. <laughs> it was great, man. That was a great game. Very good score. And that's Vi, man. That's Vi Season 10. With that build, it's good. Very, very, very good. If you enjoyed the gameplay, please hit me a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, be on the lookout for me playing on Twitch.tv as well as live streaming on YouTube. Appreciate the follows, and I'll see you guys next time.